I asked them, where's the, where's the, where's the courage? Where are the senators who got courage on that side of the aisle to stand up and work together on a bipartisan basis to get health care reform passed? Where? We on this side reached out our hands for bipartisan agreement on health care reform. Probably to a fault. Probably to a fault. And I say fault because for months and months and months, this center anyway, stand at the hand of uh, work with other senators on a, a, a bipartisan basis. I know that the, the current occupant of the chair very much knows that. He watched this, he saw it happen in the Finance Committee. And Senator Grassley and I worked very hard to get senators on both sides of the aisle to work to pass health care reform. Very hard. Then after a while, we had to work to, towards another uh, approach. The, the group of six, three Republicans, three Democrats. We worked for days, we worked for months on a bipartisan basic health care reform passed. You know what happened? You know what happened, Mr. President? I could feel it happening. One by one by one, they started to drift away. They wanted to pass health care reform. They wanted to act on a bipartisan basis, but they were pressured, pressured from, the outs from their political party not to do it. Not to do it. Not to do it. Why are they pressured not to do it? Unfortunately, they gave in to their pressure because their leadership wanted to make a political statement. One of the ones standing on the floor here said, let's make this Obama's Waterloo. Health care is Waterloo. They did not want to work with us. That side of the aisle, they did not want to work with us because they, want, they thought it's better to make a political statement, attack the bill, attack the bill, attack the bill, attack the bill, in order to make political points for the 2010 election. That's what they were trying to do. Just, so just I briefly. Asked, I asked Mr. President, where's the courage? Where's the courage? Where's the Republican senators going to stand up and say, boy, let's work together to pass health care reform? Where's the senators going to stand up in that style and say, you bet, we want to work together to pass health care reform? I think the senator has really answered his own question. As a matter of fact, Senator Grassley and Senator Enzi met for hours and hours, weeks upon weeks, with my friend from Montana, uh, in good faith, hoping to come up with, with a program that could get that 80-vote uh, uh, support that we usually get on matters of... Uh, uh, That's of, true. Of, absolutely. That's how they started out. And, and then... Eventually, it dawned on them that uh, my friends on the other side of the aisle wanted to Europeanize the health care system of the United States of America to cut my Medicare. Time. I reclaim my time. That is not what happened. I'll tell you what did happen. Your leadership pressured them, pressured them, pressured them not to work together. There is no European-style effort in that room. That is a totally untruthful statement, totally untruthful statement. None whatsoever. And Thank the gentleman for briefly together. yielding. Oh, no, we've, we're passing a bill here. It's a uniquely American solution. It, gives, it, it's, it provides competition. It, um, it, uh, it helps doctor-patient relationship. So that assertion in working toward a European solution is entirely untrue. It's, it's entirely false.